Every now and then you come across a particular event or comments from a while back and you wonder why you'd never heard them before, why they hadn't made the news. And that's happened to me today when I tracked down comments I heard had been made by a Greens senator that make you wonder about her role, her capabilities and her commitment to serving the people of Australia. The comments I've dug out come from Maureen Faruqi, the Greens Senator for New South Wales. We've already spoken about how she recently posed with pro-Palestine protesters holding up signs that demand Israel is put in the bin, classic anti-Semitism just calling for the elimination of Israel. Hamas must be so pleased that they have these useful idiots in the West. But the other comments I'm about to show you relate to the usual Greens obsession of climate change. Senator Faruqi spoke in Parliament about last year's horrific floods in Pakistan, her birth country. Floods which were dramatic, devastating and deadly, like previous severe flooding in that country. More than a 1,000 people were killed and Australia donated millions of dollars in aid. But just listen to what this Green senator had to say. I've just returned from Pakistan after seeing my Ami. Australia's criminal inaction on climate is deeply felt there. Hang on. Let's just stop it there. Australia's criminal action? An Australian senator in the Australian Senate talking about the plight of another country and labelling her own country criminal. What's going on here? Have a look at some more. I've just returned from Pakistan after seeing my Ami. Australia's criminal inaction on climate is deeply felt there, felt in the extreme heat, felt in the melting glaciers, washing away entire villages, and felt in the everyday life of children in Pakistan who are suffocating in an ever-deadly mix of intense heat and trapped pollution. So we must remember also to lift our gaze. We must start a process of making climate reparations to the Global South countries who are most harmed by Australia's contribution to the climate crisis. Australia is criminal. Australia is to blame. Australia harms Pakistan and we should pay reparations. This is disgusting and idiotic stuff coming from anyone, but coming from an Australian politician, someone elected to our National Senate surely is just beyond the pale. Australia contributes, as you know, about 1% of global emissions and falling. As our chief scientist once declared, if we shut ourselves down altogether and produced no emissions, it wouldn't make any difference to the climate. Yet Faruqi slanders her own country, says we're to blame for Pakistan's natural disasters. She ought to be ashamed of herself and she ought to resign from the Senate. Why isn't she protesting at the Chinese embassy, who account for about a third of the world's carbon dioxide emissions? We already knew that Marine Faruqi didn't like Israel, but it turns out she's not a big rap on Australia either, although she doesn't mind taking our tax dollars. But also, why wasn't this reported? Why did the Canberra Press Gallery fail to report these comments? Are they running a protection racket for the Green Left? 